So for those of us that are lost, for those of us, oh, and only for those of us that are completely lost, if you if you are not sure that you got this right, I only want to ask you this. Uh, what was the main idea for proportions? Say it in the chat box, please. What was the main idea of proportions? Yeah, right. Compare the same things in the same way. Compare the same things in the same way. Compare the same things in the same way. Just had to do a quick little pulse check on that. And number two, remember that you got to pay attention to the words. So watch this. Watch this. Read the question first. That's going to be step one. Let's go and do that together. I'm going to show you that if this problem was confusing to you, it actually shouldn't be that confusing. I got you. Because look, it says what is the ratio. A uh, quick question, everybody. What's another word for ratio? What's another word for ask correct? Fraction. Fraction. Let's go and write that down nice and uh, nice and pretty like, even though my handwriting is garbage. But okay, fraction. And then here it says uh, the ratio or fraction of males, male members to all members. Okay. So it looks like we need a fraction that compares, again, like we said, the male members to all members. And really quick, before we continue my math party people, I know you're enjoying this and you can have thousands of problems just like this in our program. In our program, you have four main things to help you succeed and more. But mainly in our course, you're going to get access to recorded lessons. You're going to get access to guided practice just like this. Worksheets that you can print out and try or keep them online. And lastly, speed drills to raise your confidence. That way when you take the test, there's no test anxiety. There's no pressure because you've been timed before. You know what to do. And that's the feeling that we want. And all of that's included in our program and more. So take a brief moment. Click the link here in this video or in the description to learn about the program and then reach out to us if you have any questions. Sign up now, let's get going, and let's get back to the problem. So if I am taking a guess with my X amount of years of teaching experience, again, I've been teaching for a while, but if I had to take a guess, if I was not a confident teacher, I might say that someone who is not confident in themselves right now might have done this. I am willing to bet that if you're confused on this problem, you might have initially thought, oh, hey, the local YMCA, has 44 male members. Okay, 44 sounds good. I'm going to grab that 44 right there. That's 44. So I'm going to do 44. And then over here on the right side, I see that I had, okay, 56 uh, female members. And I'm going to grab that instantly. Okay, 56 female members. So I'm going to take that 56 right there. And I did 44 over 56. And I think that that's correct. Who, who went like that right there and said, okay, cool. That's cool. And now I'm checking to see if my answer's there, but apparently it's not. And that's where I'm sitting here like, wah, I'm confused. This sucks. I'm frustrated. Is that fair to say? Okay. So with that said, that's not how you do this. Everyone, what is the problem with me writing 44 over 56? For those of you that, that are a little more confident, help us out. Come on, let's really have this talk. Why, why is uh, this not correct? Cat, thank you. That, that was the, the clearest one. They didn't ask us to compare males to females. This is worth paying attention. Again, like I said, if you just pay attention to the details, it does become a little easier. And this is how. First in the question, notice that the question said, what is the ratio of male members to all members? And we wrote that down. When we went through the information, this is the grave mistake that I made right here. It says male 44, local YMCA, 44 males. That's good. 44 males right there, 44 up top. Great. But then it says 56 female members. I said I needed to compare it to all members. Notice how those are not the same thing. I cannot just take any number I see and throw it in there. And just hope for the best. That is not how math works. Math is a very logical process. And if you can think about it logically, A, B, C, one, two, three, then you can guarantee that you're correct. But in this case, this would not be correct because 56 represents females. 
So I can write that on the side if I want to. But that would not fit under all members. And so this is where a little bit of, of intuition comes in. And what I really mean by intuition is, um, you know, I, I don't mean to say this in a in a uh, in a posturing way or to offend anybody, but this is where common sense comes in. And I'm not saying common sense like, Duh. no, no, no. Like common sense says, let's take what the problem is giving you and just read it how it is. If you're looking for all members and you have males and females, what can you safely assume that all means? Right. The sum, the total of the number of males and females together. That would, in this case, in this problem, in this very oversimplified problem, that's what that'll be. And so with that, cool. If we want to get all members, for me, that would say, hey, 44 males. And we add that with the 56 females. That would give us all members. And everybody, what's 44 plus 56? Right, that's going to be 100. 56 plus 44, if you add them together, 6 plus 4 is 10. 9 plus, or excuse me, 5 plus 4 is 9 plus 1 is 10. So that would be 100 for all. And that's how you can write 100 there. Does that make a little more sense, everyone? Again, like notice, word problems are not just about knowing how to solve things. It's about knowing how to also set it up. And that's why I said earlier, knowing those two things together, the setup and all the shortcuts you can take in solving, that's really what's ultimately going to spell success for you at the end of the day. And my last bad part of people, just like this free video that you're watching, I have more free materials for you and there's no excuse for you not to get them. I have a free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every single mistake. And on top of that, I have a free class on Zoom once a week, every single week for two hours. So imagine that. You got more free materials than just this YouTube video right over here. Let's keep pushing forward. Sign up right now and I'll see you in the next class. Let's get started. So with that, 44 over 100, there it is. And so with that said, what's the last step that we have to take, everybody? Kira, you said it. That's right. Simplify. Divide that out. And so booyah. Hey, no worries. If you didn't see it before, hopefully you saw it now, right? So everybody, what's the biggest number that four, 44 and 100 can be divided by? Yes, yeah, Savannah. So this is where we have to look at this and simplify. And if you don't know how to simplify quite yet or are not comfortable with it, you're in the program already. So make sure that you're going into the math boot camp, going into fractions. And there's a whole activity list for simplifying fractions. And so here, 44 and 100 are both divisible by four. And again, if you're in the program, by the way, just a quick PSA, if you're in the program and you're stuck on learning certain things, hit me up, like shoot me a text. You guys know that I'm going to be here. I got your back all day. So just shoot me a text and I'll give you the advice that you need. Okay. So with that 44 divided by four, that's going to give us 11. And then that's behind my big old head. So let me actually draw an arrow up, but that'll be 11 over 25 because 44 divided by four is 11 and 100 divided by four is 25. And that is as low as you can get it. And that will be answer choice B. And as always my party people, thanks for watching. You can subscribe with that button right there. And you can also see a link to a video just like this one right up there. But most importantly, if you want the program and you wanna raise your score the right way, every step of the way with my support, there's that link at the bottom left. Go ahead, click that link, watch the video on how the program works, subscribe and raise your score.